Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an LA haul video. I just got back from my trip to LA for my friend's wedding. I vlogged that trip in my previous vlog before this so you can check it out if you want. It's a pretty short vlog because I would tend to forget to vlog at times. But yeah, if you want to check that out, it's linked up above. My friend's wedding was supposed to happen last year in March 2020 but then the pandemic happened and so everything was moved a year later. So actually her wedding was like about two years in the making already um, because of course the planning before last year and then it got postponed another year so yeah it finally happened once and for all it was actually only just me and another friend who flew in from the Philippines the other people who flew in were like the family members of the groom and of course the bride um, but yeah it was a fun trip nonetheless aside from the wedding my friend and I the other friend who flew in with me we did a little bit of traveling on the side so aside from the wedding that's what we did we went hiking and we visited a few of LA's hotspots so yeah it was pretty fun but yeah for now we're going to be doing my little haul it's actually actually very small um yeah it's not much really i didn't buy any clothes uh, i wasn't really planning on shopping anyway a lot of these things were things that i've already had my eye on in the past but only got to buying them now because of circumstances but yeah before anything else though if you're new to this channel welcome and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back if these are the kinds of videos that you like watching, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want to connect with me on my socials, it's at TrishDLF. Okay, so we got stuff from Sephora, Urban Outfitters, um, Gentle Monster, Steve Madden, um, and... Valenciaga, so watch out for that. Just a few stuff really, but I think we're gonna start with the small stuff first. So I guess from Sephora, I have two paper bags here. One was actually supposed to be my dad's, but he didn't want it. It was my pasalubong for him. So yeah, he was just like, I don't use this, so it's just like, sayo na lang, so it's mine now. Um, I don't even know if I'm gonna wear it. Okay, so this little paper bag first. So I'm getting old and I know that I really have to step up my skincare routine. So I was just like, yeah, I need to do something else other than drink collagen so that I would age slower. So yeah, I got some skincare which are from The Ordinary and I know that you can get them here in the Philippines but I don't know, I guess I was just in the moment at Sephora, so I was just like, okay. So here, I don't really use serums, but I really had to step it up. Because I do have niacinamide, I put that on my face, that's a serum. But aside from that, I realized that I really need to put something else. You know how people are so into like cocktails and everything, so I was like, okay, fine, let's just do it. So I bought this, The Ordinary Caffeine Solution 5% plus EGCC. I honestly don't know what that means, but it says on the box that it reduces appearance of eye contour, pigmentation, and of puffiness. And as you guys can see, and I'm sure you've seen in my previous videos, my eye bags are really big. It's kind of a genetic thing. I was born that way. I feel like even when I was a child, I already had eye bags. It's always been a trait of mine to already have big eye bags as is. But you know, when you're getting older, you just know it's gonna get worse. So I was just like, I need to prevent this and start doing something about it. So yeah, I decided to get this. It just comes in this box and inside it is your typical The Ordinary solution as so. I will probably do like a skincare routine, an updated skincare routine after I start using these regularly. But yeah, so that's the first, that's the caffeine. And I also googled that caffeine really helps reduce like under eye circles. So I was like, okay fine, let's try it. Let's see what this does for me. And then next I got the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. So this one says that it's a hydration support formula with ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid. And this one is 60 ml. And again, this is just what it looks like. There's this influencer that I follow and I'm not sure if you guys have heard of her but she's basically like 42 years old and she looks like she's 21 and one of her skincare routines like she said it on her Instagram was that she puts hyaluronic acid so I was like if that girl puts hyaluronic acid and she's 42 and looks 21 like 
she's doing something right, so I'm a buy hyaluronic mm -hmm. acid. So we will see. <laughs> so you will see if this helps in making me look like I'm still 21 years old. I'll update you guys. And then, so I did a lot of like window shopping in Sephora because you know, like in the Philippines, you don't really have one similar to Sephora where they just have like all these racks of skincare and makeup all in one place. And so you know how Sephora always has those like best sellers like in every rack. So. This was one of the things that I saw that was like on a bestseller rack. Actually, I googled a lot of the bestsellers rack. And yeah, this was something that I felt like would be good for my skin. It's the Fab First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream and Dense Hydration. So this basically helps hydrate dry, parched skin and temporarily help relieve minor irritation and itching due to eczema and other conditions. So I don't have eczema, but I needed a new moisturizer. I do use like this other collagen moisturizer and then another mask, the water mask from Laneige, but it's running out. So I was like, I need a new moisturizer to test out. So this one had really good reviews online, like everywhere. And yeah, when I buy stuff, I really base it on the reviews. The product always has to have a lot of reviews online before I purchase it because it's skincare and you don't really know with skincare like what really works for you. So I tend to really like have to read up on all of these skincare products because you have to know that it's really safe to put on your skin because I really don't know anything about skincare. So I just rely on the reviews. So this was something out of people swore by it, like a holy grail moisturizer. So I was like, okay, let's test it out. So there you go. And then we have, oh, this one I really like. This actually, I think, one of my favorite purchases from this trip. Um, it's the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. I'm not really a makeup hoarder. If you look at my makeup collection, everything I have, there are things that I have used ever since. So these are things that I just constantly replace. I don't tend to try out or experiment with different products or different brands. Once I found the perfect brand and the perfect formula for me, I don't really try other things anymore. So a lot of the stuff in my collection, these are things that I've just constantly repurchased over the years. When it comes to eyeshadows, I don't really have a lot. I have like two palettes. One is really old. Uh, I plan to throw it after I start using this because it's really old. like, it's embarrassingly old. It's like, more than eight years old and I still have it. Makeup has a shelf life but you know I don't hit the pan so why am I gonna throw it? Don't copy me I'm probably doing it wrong but yeah Natasha didn't know no bronze palette. This is so so pretty I swear. You just bring it out and this is the case. It's just this mirrored reflective case and actually it's rose gold. It's rose gold outside the rose gold. Yeah, it looks a bit rose gold slash bronze. This is just the packaging and then you just open it and guys, this is so freaking gorgeous. Look at it. Ooh. Oh wow, look at that. Look at that color palette. I think they call it a color story in like makeup, in the makeup world, they call it a color story. If you know this, my makeup looks through the years on this channel, they're all very basic, they're all very neutral. I never really did any crazy wild eyeshadow looks. So yeah, this is just perfect for me because it has all the basic neutral, well yeah, neutrals and like shimmers. I only play with like two shimmers now for my eyeshadow. This has eight shimmers and then the rest are like matte, which is like really good because I get to finally use other shimmers other than my usual. I'm really excited to try this on. I swatched these in Sephora and they were really, really pigmented. So I was just like, okay, I really need to have this. And of course, I also read the reviews. The shimmers are really beautiful. Natasha Denona is really known for her eyeshadow, like her highly pigmented eyeshadow, which is why I knew that I had to just grab one of these. Okay, next is from Shiseido. And this was my dad's. This was my pasalubo for my dad, but he didn't want it. And now I don't know what I'm gonna use this for because I don't really need it. This is like a bestseller SPF set and it's supposed to be like anti-wrinkle, anti-aging stuff. It's mostly like eye cream to reduce the wrinkles in your eyes and then 
other things like SPF. My dad's really into anti-aging but he uses oil. He doesn't like to use cream. It's basically just like oil and vitamins for him. So when I got him this and he saw that it was cream and gel based, he was like, sorry I can't take that. Just use it for yourself. So I was like, oh, oh like, you know, let's open it anyway since no one's gonna get this anyway. My mom doesn't want it either. And you know, like it's a, it's a wrinkle set but I don't have like fine lines on my eyes yet so I don't really know what I'll use this for. Okay, it's pretty small. Um, basically it comes with this Trishado Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream. It comes with this Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate. This is what it looks like. I'll probably google what they do later on to see if this is something that I can actually use. And then you have an Urban Environment Oil-Free UV Protector SPF, so sunscreen. This one just looks like this. Oh, it's actually pretty cute. Look at it. It reminds me of the Chanel, what do you call it, hand cream, right? Pretty cute. Maybe I'll use it. <laughs> I mean, no one else is going to use it. My sister can't use this either because she's just like, what, 21, 22? Okay, next, and I'll just sneak this in here because it's still something I got from the trip, right? So this is just a Hollywood keychain, as you can see. I thought that this would look really cute with my bags. Like, don't you think it looks so cute with it? Yeah, I think it looks pretty cute. So I'll probably put this in one of my bags. Okay, then I have two books. These were from the last bookstore. This was one of the tourist destinations that I also really wanted to go to because it's basically like, a really really huge bookstore with like a lot of choices basically. I really like like the concept of it. I'll put a picture in here somewhere so you guys can see. I really enjoyed going there. If I could have stayed longer just to browse all the books, I feel like maybe half a day would be good. But I was with my friend and my friend wasn't really into the whole book thing so I didn't really want to, you know, make him wait. So I just really like did my best to like chop chop and like really hurry up and just look for books that what sparked my interest and these were the two books that did so uh, this is the first it's called there's no such thing as an easy job which is so cool like I mean the title itself is very catching already I haven't really read it yet but again this had good reviews see I always read the reviews and also a lot of the Japanese authors that I've read I mean books by Japanese authors that I've read recently have been very very good and this is one of those that was displayed on like a you know like up-and-coming books kind of thing so when I saw this I was like okay this looks cool so I'm gonna buy it and I also got this book it's called The Nest and this one I think is a pretty old book already it's a New York Times bestseller this is more about like drama I think um, this book, I know it's available everywhere. I think it's also available here in the country. But I've heard about this because I like like searching for new books to read and I add it in like, my Goodreads app. And I've stumbled on this book before which was something that kind of interested me. This one though, this was a pre-loved book. I think this has already been read. This is basically used and it was only $6. So I was like, ooh, $6. It's just $6. It's like 300 pesos for this book and I think like the SRP is around 12 okay so I got like half off for a book but yeah so basically like the last bookstore they have a bunch of books they have both brand new which are books like this and then the newest books they have all the newest books and they also have a lot of those like archive books it's like two floors so it's a really really big place that yeah you can just spend forever going around there so yeah, this is one of the things that was used. I feel like if I stayed longer, I would have found more bargains. But yeah, this was the best that I could do. And yeah, I'm excited to read this. I'm not sure, I'm getting like Gossip Girl vibes from this book. We will see if that's the case. Next is from Urban Outfitters. And this is just one thing. It's a card game. This is the card game. It is. We're not really strangers. So this one, and I haven't opened it yet. I'll open it with you guys. This was a card game that I saw on Instagram. I'm not sure if it was an influencer who shared this or if it was a sponsored ad that made me see this card game. But basically, so I saw this like maybe last year or like this early this year. 
and I really wanted it, but I, I don't know how to buy stuff from abroad, like shipping from like website. I'm, I'm always scared of tax and all that jazz. So I never really tried purchasing from like websites abroad. So I've always had this card game bookmark because I thought it was a really good concept. But again, because I don't know how to order online from foreign websites, I just never did. And then I stumbled upon it in Urban Outfitters and I was like, yes, like I, I finally get to have my own card game. And I'm not really into card games, board games, any game, any, you know, like manual games for that matter. But this, when I saw it online, like before, it just really sparked my interest. So it's basically called We're Not Really Strangers. And it's a card game that you can play with like friends. I'm not sure if it's just like friends or just like one person at the time. But basically, like it, it's in the name, we're not really strangers. It asks you life questions, which are really, you know, thought provoking, if that's the word that you could call it. So it basically just comes in these three packs. Let's open one so I can show you like a sample of the questions. So there's three levels. So I feel like it's like your level of closeness and stuff like that so basically like these are questions that you ask people that really yeah thought-provoking and it makes you really get to know someone more that hence the name of the game we're not really strangers these are questions that you can ask your friend new, a new acquaintance even like a boyfriend or you know someone close to you and you get to know them at a deeper level at a spiritual level I guess but yeah let's try level two let's open it and see what kind of questions they have here level two is connection let's just pick a random card okay this is a sample of the questions okay what would your younger self not believe about your life today that's a hard-hitting question like what would they I don't even know the answer what would my younger self not believe actually nothing nothing i feel like my younger self my younger self has always been open to all the possibilities wow that's so deep maybe i'd have a deeper answer when i actually play this game with other people but yeah i mean more time to think and reflect right like those are the kinds of questions and then you both have to answer it like you really get to know a lot about the person if you play this game. So yeah, I'm excited to play this with people. <laughs> okay, next is duty free stuff. Okay, this one. Oh my god. <laughs> Finally, I was able to buy a replenishment of this. So this one's from duty free. Well, I don't really have to introduce this item anymore. Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. Finally. Oh my god. You guys know this is my holy grail go-to perfume. This has been my perfume for the past five years until the pandemic happened okay here's the backstory of that this has always been my signature scent and i don't use any other perfume until the pandemic happened because i only buy this in duty free or when i go abroad chanel coco mademoiselle is so expensive here in the philippines like it's already at ten thousand pesos in restance and i'm just like oh, i'm not gonna spend ten thousand when i know that i can buy it for like seven eight thousand abroad I mean, yeah, it's just like 2,000 pesos, but I just really don't like getting ripped off that way. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I still had this perfume. I still have it right now. Um, I still had it last year and it was about like one-fourth of the bottle left. And I was like, oh my god, like I'm not gonna be traveling anytime soon. How am I gonna replace this? So that's when I started panicking and I really did not want to buy it in Rostands at 10,000. I was like, no, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna wait until I get to travel again so I can buy it. So what happened was I ended up buying new perfume. I ended up trying out different perfume, which was the Chloe Nomad. I did a review of that on this channel, which I will also link up above. So for the past like year and a half, I think, that's been my perfume because I didn't want to finish off my Coco Mademoiselle, which was my signature scent. So yeah, I basically switched my signature scent just so the Coco Mademoiselle wouldn't be finished. So finally, I get to travel again so I can finally restock on the perfume and guys let me show you this was from duty free so it's tax free and look at the price it's only 131 us dollars and it's even cheaper because the last that i got of this was i think in canada so that was around i think 
when I converted it because it still had tax because I, I didn't buy it in duty free in Canada. So I think with tax it turned out like 75 pesos but this one at 131 okay I got my dollar for like 51 point something but let's just even round it off to times 52 pesos right? 131 US dollars times 52 pesos is only 6,812. I only paid 6,812 for this. Whereas if I purchased it here, I would be paying like 10500 or something. So that's why I waited because, yeah, I'm not gonna let people fool me into like spending more money. I am already spending a lot as is. So yeah, I'm, finally, I'm so glad I finally got this at a cheaper price. I feel like I should have stocked more, but you know, we don't really go out anyway, so I don't think I'm gonna finish this that Soon, I will do a full review of this Coco Mademoiselle on another video. That's my favorite perfume ever, signature scent for life. And I'm so glad I finally got my hands on her. Duty free. That's the main takeaway. Duty free.